Welcome back to the Boulder Bookstore. My name is Julia and I am the Marketing and Promotions Assistant here at the Boulder Bookstore. Um, and I'm here to today to talk to you about graphic novels. Um, I'm a huge graphic novels fan. I, in particular, really love middle grade graphic novel for some reason. Um, and I know I'm not alone on this, um, particularly with a lot of kids in middle school. They really gravitate towards graphic novels. Um, and I am all for it. I think they're a wonderful medium. I think they're a great way to encourage readers who might be a little bit more reluctant or readers who have read like literally everything under the sun. They're a great, you know, great way of reading. Um, there's still a lot of text in them, even though they are, you know, picture based. I have five graphic novels to talk about today. Uh, four of them are middle grade. One of them is YA, but that YA one could span into upper middle grade as well. Um, there's a romance, but that's about it. Um, and they're all a little bit on the Halloween theme. Um, it is getting to be fall and um, I really love this genre. I love things that are like slightly spooky but not scary exactly, so middle grade is pretty awesome for that. Um, so let's get started. My first one, which I just came across this week and I'm super excited about, is The Witches. Um, it's a graphic novel rendition of The Witches by Roald Dahl. It's absolutely charming. It tells the whole story, obviously. Really incredible. I can't really describe to you what these illustrations look like, but they're just, they fit the text absolutely perfectly. Um, really evocative of Roald Dahl's words. A really wonderful way of looking at this, you know, classic story that we all love so much, at least I love so much, <laughs> in, an, in a new graphic novel form. Um, if you're a fan of the movie, I am, you know, and you haven't read the book, this would be a great way of, of getting that story again. Um, I really love this uh, graphic novel. So my second one is The OK Witch. This is a big, um, big hit at the bookstore. A lot of us really love this book. Um, it's about a 13 year old girl named Moth who lives in this small town in Massachusetts, which is sort of like Salem, Massachusetts with the witch trials and that kind of history. Um, and she finds out, she doesn't really fit in. She kind of feels like an outsider. Um, and she finds out that her mother is actually a witch. And so she learns about the, the town's history and her family's history and trying to figure out where she fits in, how she wants to deal with um, who she is, with, you know, taking those things into consideration without really, you know, putting all of the stock on that. Um, it's a really great coming of age story. It's a little bit spooky, but not really spooky. It's more about the, you know, growing up and becoming who you are and figuring out who you want to be in the world. Uh, really great little graphic novel. My second, or my third graphic novel recommendation is Black Sand Beach. The subtitle here is Are You Afraid of the Light? Um, this is a really, really, really fun graphic novel, definitely on the little bit spookier side. Um, it this it uh, follows this uh, 12 year old boy named Dash who brings his best friend to this cabin that his family built on this beach, the Black Sand Beach. Um, he's not really enthused about it. Um, there's weird family, there's all sorts of strange things that start to happen. The beach is really strange, the sand is magnetic because of the iron content. All this weird stuff starts happening, there's a zombie sheep, it's really fun. Um, there's ghosts and a, a haunted lighthouse and really, really fun graphic novel. Um, and also really witty, there's like little bits of, of joke, jokes kind of like hidden in street signs and cereal boxes and so you, it's a really fun kind of hunt for all these little subtle jokes while you're reading the story. Really fun, highly recommend. Like I said, it is a little bit on the spookier side, um, but also super funny and um, really accessible. Uh, my fourth recommendation is Witches of Brooklyn. Uh, I know Liesl recommended this a couple of weeks ago. I don't care. I also really wanted to recommend it. Another one that is a, um, really popular with booksellers here at the store. We've been, we all, every time I show it to someone, they're like, oh, Witches of Brooklyn, love that one. Um, it's about a little girl named Effie who's recently orphaned and um, is brought to her two kind of quirky aunts in Brooklyn. She doesn't really want to be there. They don't really want her there. But they kind of come together. Um, she finds out that her aunts are witches. 
And there's a really wonderful um, storyline where uh, there's this pop star that she and her friends are like totally obsessed with and um, her aunts are going to help this pop star. And so there's a really f nice subtext of like meeting your idols and figuring out what's really important and whether um, th those people are really worth idolizing. Really fun graphic novel. Um, not super spooky, there's a little bit, but really more again about that kind of coming of age and figuring out who you want to be kind of subtext. Really wonderful. And my last graphic novel, this one, those four were all middle grade. This one is a YA. It could kind of float in between, I think. There's a romance, but um, you know, that's, it's, that's about it. Uh, it's Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell. I mean, I don't need to rec to tell you who Rainbow Rowell is. She's great. Um, but this graphic novel, I read it last year, super wonderful. As we're moving into the fall season, this is a really embodies like everything I love about fall. Um, it takes place in this what is I imagine to be like the most amazing pumpkin patch autumnal theme park that you could imagine. Um, it follows two characters, Josiah and Deja. They have been working at this pumpkin patch for four years of high school. This is their last night, um, and they're both feeling really sad about it. They're going to both go to be, be going to different colleges, and so they're having that kind of like, what happens after everything I've known and leaving that all behind. Um, Josiah has been crushing on this girl for four years that he's never talked to, and so the, the plot of this, the story follows them as they try and track her down throughout the autumnal pumpkin patch. Um, so you see the whole pat pumpkin patch and all of their, like, the people and the, you know, the attractions. It's really wonderful. And as they kind of reminisce and talk about what's next. And it's really touching and funny and sweet and just, like, everything that I want from, like, it's like a pumpkin spice latte in a book. I love it. Um, so those are my four, my five recommendations. I hope you find something you like. Um, there are so many wonderful graphic novels out, out there. These are just five of them. So um, if you have a kid who has a specific interest and you want a graphic novel to suit that interest, I bet we could find something for them. Just give us, give us a call. Um, hope you did find something you liked today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. And we'll see you in the next one.